Hey everyone, it's Dr. Alan Chinosha with Town Center Family Dental right here in Hillsborough, New Jersey. Today I'm coming to you with uh, answers to a common question that we get every single day here at the office. And the question is, what's a bridge and what's an implant? So we're gonna just show the differences right now so you have a good idea of, and hopefully you'll be a little bit more knowledgeable next time you go visit your dental office. So a bridge is commonly used to replace any missing teeth. It could be a molar in the back or it could even be a front tooth. A bridge and a molar typically has a front tooth and a back tooth that replaces a missing tooth in the middle. And in this case, it looks kind of like this. A tooth is shaped around, another one is shaped around, and then a bridge, which is a three tooth replacement, is then permanently glued over those teeth so that you can get three teeth where there was only two before. The other option, uh, which, which is becoming more and more popular, and we'll discuss that in a minute as to why, is to use a dental implant. A dental implant is a cylinder of titanium that's put into the gum line so that a tooth can be added to it. So in this case, if you look here, we have the top part of an implant. If we were to peel away the gum line, which we're not gonna do in your mouth, but if we were, it would look like this. You'd have the titanium that goes all the way down and a top connecting part here. And it's that connecting part that we actually attach a post to. Sometimes it's referred to as an abutment. And then onto that abutment is a crown. So in a situation like this, we don't have to touch either tooth on either side. So if you have perfectly healthy teeth on each side, very often we find the best option is to replace it with an implant. Now, if you wanna get a closer look at what an implant looks like, I'm gonna show you right now. So an implant usually comes to a dentist in a container. The container's sterilized so that no one has ever touched it before. It comes out so that it's sterile and it's often held by a little holding device, that's what the screen area is, and the actual implant is it's quite small compared to what you're seeing there. So in terms of size, this is what you're looking at. So that's the dental implant. I hope I answered some of your questions.